Hi guys, welcome back. This video is going to be my finds for the month of April and uh, I'm going to start off with some um, garage sale and some Goodwill stuff. Uh, today was the half off sale at Goodwill and I picked up this little mem memo holder by Eldon Workspace. It's still in the box. Uh, it, just, it looks like it was never used and I got it for 50 cents. I picked up this book by uh, Andrew Wheel. It's a uh, called Healthy Aging. And then I picked up another book, um, Chocolat. Uh, I've seen the movie and uh, so I'm kind of excited to read the book and see what the differences are between the book and the movie. Also at the Goodwill I picked up this pair of Birkenstock shoes. They're in really excellent condition. I think they're brand new and never worn. Um, one of the shoes is missing the shoelace, but that's n that's no biggie. I think I have a a pair of shoelaces somewhere that I can use for these. At uh, a garage sale, I picked up these uh, girls' shoes. They're by uh, Elephantin. I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, these are. Uh, I paid a dollar for these at a garage sale and same garage sale I picked up another pair same brand and then I picked up this pair of uh, roller derby roller skates really good condition again um, they look the little scuffs look that like the only reason they're scuffed is because they were stored somewhere but they honestly look like they were never worn, not even for anything. So those are in really nice condition, and these were two dollars. When I was a little kid, I learned how to roller skate, but I never learned how to stop with the little toe stop. Um, oops. Then I picked this up for two dollars, and this is just a silly little as seen on TV thing that I want to try out. Um, it's supposed to, you're supposed to fill this thing up with water and throw it in the dryer and then this will release steam and it's supposed to um, um, help with the wrinkles. You know, the clothes are supposed to come out wrinkle free. So we'll see. And lastly, at the Goodwill, I picked up this puzzle by Majestic. Uh, 1500 pieces and it's called uh, Thanks Be Given. And I typically don't like to buy puzzles if they're already open, but this one is sealed. So, we'll see how that does. And this was only $1.50, so. That's it for this little clip. Hey guys, um, this is some stuff that I picked up from um, thrift stores and garage sales. And I got these at the Goodwill. There's um, 10 blank Memorix of VHS tapes. And um, it was supposed to be a pack of 12, but two uh, were missing. So these are 10, 10 of them, and I think these were like $4 for the bunch. Um, also from Goodwill, I picked up this pair of uh, Dr. Martens. They're Doc Martens shoes. Um, they're wingtip. These are also from the thrift store. The but I think this is a different, I think this is from Family Thrift Store and this is a pair of Dansko shoes. From that same thrift store I had this pair of uh, Cole Haan uh, slip-on sandals. And from a garage sale I picked up this pair of uh, Croc, also they're slip-on sandals in pretty good condition. And for myself I just picked up uh, a pair of Tommy jeans and th these are for me. I think these were like a dollar and I'm not, I don't remember exactly the prices on these but they're from anywhere from five to ten dollars. A couple of more uh, thrift store finds. Um, these are blank cassette tapes they had a box of 24 for $3.99 at the thrift store. Um, there were supposed to be 24 in the box, 
but uh, the box had been opened and taped back up and there were only 20 brand new ones and then these two that are already open i don't know if there's anything recorded on them but uh, they're uh, already open so i'm just uh putting listing all these 20 together then i also picked up this um mash season two on dvd and this uh, i'm actually keeping for myself Okay, again, this is the last haul for April. This uh, little batch of things I'm going to show you uh, all came from a garage sale. And this is a garage sale that uh, was being held by this uh, little old couple. And they were the most adorable little old people I have ever seen. And uh, the husband was telling me that his wife likes to go to Houston every now and then and pick up little things to resell. And she'll have a garage sale when she has enough stuff. And um, so, yeah, they had a lot of different types of odds and ends. So let me um, show you what I picked up from them. Uh, for 25 cents, I got this really cool, ornate wooden box. Uh, it's made in India. And it's got, you know, it's got some wear to it. And uh, I'm going to have to do a, clean it up inside a little bit because it's uh, full of lint and fuzz. But I picked it up because it's engraved in the bottom. Um, apparently it was given as a gift to somebody named Colleen. And then it's got the name of the family that, uh, that gave it to her. And I don't think you guys can see this right here. But... Uh, this says 1968 so uh, that's why I picked it up because I know for sure it's vintage and then over here I was made in India and uh, yeah that was 25 cents not bad at all next I picked up this little bag you know me I love my little bags uh, and I like this one because it's like vinyl uh, and this is one of those Estee Lauder uh, gift with purchase type of things and this was 50 cents, so definitely keeping that to store some odds and ends in there. This is a little planner agenda for 50 cents. Really nice shape. I don't think it's leather, but that's cool. And uh, it's got a magnetic closure. This is also for me, by the way. It's pretty clean. Um, I like these little ruler things. And... Uh, it's from 2010, but I'm not going to use it as a planner anyway. I have I want to use it as a little um, journal type of thing. So anyway, that's for me for 50 cents. And lastly, I found this. Let's see if I can show you better. This is a pasta maker. And... Uh, This was two dollars, and uh, it's made in Italy, of course. And uh, that's the brand. And I have no idea what year this is, but I'm assuming it's from the 50s or 60s. And these are the instructions uh, for the pasta machine. And just another little booklet. And it's kind of heavy, so I'm not going to take it out, but there it is. And here's the little uh, handle that will turn. And then this is the little clamp to clamp it to the table. And uh, let me try to take it out. If it doesn't work out, I'll edit it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, it's heavy. So I'm going to look look it up a uh, little more closely I'm assuming it's complete but if it's not I'll just list it uh, with the parts as they are and um, we'll see how it goes but that was only two dollars for a vintage uh, pasta machine so that's it for this um, haul and uh, that's it for April and I hope everybody had a great month picking and selling and collecting or whatever your motivation is for picking and uh, I will see you in May. Bye-bye.